I'm going to show you the setup of my Jeep Cherokee XJ and my power box 12 volt generator. Get up on the roof first to show you. It's a 100 watt solar panel. Strap down. Set up on some cedar blocks. Fits right in. Really solid. Takes up most of my rack, but it's below the top bars. So I can still mount my canoe up there when I go to the boundary waters of Minnesota. This is also, uh, I can easily release the straps and tilt this in either direction while I'm camped and uh, you know set it to a 45 degree angle or whatever to uh, capture the best the best sunlight solar wire set up here could put a couple copper lugs obviously marked positive and negative and I've got some uh, hot glue covering the wire connection to the lug a little under uh, 18 watts from the sun with the panel just sitting flat up on the roof in the shade uh, which is which is fantastic so that's the whole idea just to go over what I have here on the front well let me open it up What I got inside. I have a uh, Genius uh, NoCo Genius 7200, which comes down here, so I can plug into AC power and trickle charge this with AC. I've got a uh, Renault G. PWM solar charge controller and as you can see right now green light is on for the solar connection this blinking green means the batteries are fully charged so they're not uh, they're just trickle charging or maintenance charging the 12 volt batteries down below I've got five 35 amp hour batteries for 175 watts of amp hour 175 amp hours total in a uh, five battery bank that's running parallel got a little switch here which turns on and off the uh, voltmeter that's for the battery bank I'm at 13.3 right now I've got a DC DC out port and then I've got a uh, 1500 watt modified sine wave inverter that comes down here to a, a ground fault circuit interrupter outlet again modified sine wave and then I've got a 300 watt pure sine wave converter that comes down here to an outlet and two USB ports. Uh, up here, one more thing I added was this little toolbox, supply box. It's got some uh, accessories in here, wire nuts. Got a cheap Sentec multimeter. Uh, got some tools for disconnecting and maintaining the batteries. Some alligator clips, some charging plugs, and a little uh, little LED USB light. And I rigged this up with wire ties so that it would uh, do that. Man, it's hot in here. 
even in the shade here in Philly, it's about 90 degrees today. Brutal. So that is the setup, and that's the way this will stay in the Jeep. Um, I mentioned in the first video, the inside of this huge box is lined with half inch rigid foam. Got double layer on the bottom. It's lined all the way around with the rigid foam. Um, nothing on the top, but my hope is that that will protect the batteries from excessive heat and excessive cold in the winter. So pretty much stay in this Jeep and uh, just uh, stay connected to the solar at all times, maintaining the batteries. And then uh, in the event of like a power outage or anything like that, I can either uh, run extension cords right into my house from here or uh, lug this thing into the house. This is, uh, I still don't know what this weighs. The batteries are 20 pounds a piece. So there's 100 pounds of batteries in this thing. And then I don't know what I would guess, another, another 20 pounds of equipment. So it's probably about 120 pounds. But that is not a problem. This is rock solid and gonna provide me with plenty of juice. So this is the finished big yellow juice box sitting inside my Jeep XJ. And this is uh this is how I'm set All up. Right. Like and subscribe. Over and out.